Hey folks, this is Vagrant. Welcome back to uh, Dredge. In the last video, we were trying to kind of, well, we, we discovered how to abyssal a fish for the very first time. We got ourselves our net. We've been doing a lot of trawling. And we were trying to find a particular fish down there in the uh, Stellar Basin in the southwest. We're going to head back there again. I have, uh... I... I I was so convinced that the fish I was looking for has to be in that central area, but given that I went searching there about 500 times and never found it, what we're going to do instead is have a little, little skeet around the waters around the islands. Around here, around here, around here, and just see if we can find an abyssal fish that matches. And if it's not there in the wider ocean, then I retire officially because I don't know what else to do. I don't think they would put it like over here or over here. I, I would be really surprised if they put the fish I'm looking for for the quest in this area somewhere other than this area, right? I just don't see that happening, so I don't know what I'll do if I don't figure this out. Let's go, let's go to Northwest first. But uh, I think we'll be fine. I think we'll, we'll stumble upon it. It's you, isn't it? I think you're the anglerfish, actually. You are the anglerfish. But, I mean, that's kind of out to sea. That's not in the middle. The anglerfish isn't in the middle, so maybe that's a promising sign. It is abyssal. We know that much. What's that over there? It's red and spooky. Red and spooky is promising. That's bloody what I need, isn't it? That's goddamn what I need. All I had to do... Oh, wait, I need a... Wait. I needed a stoplight loose jaw. Now, is that what it is? Or is that like a... Is that like the, you know, the messed up version? God, I love fish that, that fold into themselves. They're my favorite kinds of fish. Look at that. What a beauty. Come on. I wonder if it is. I don't know. Insectopedia. With red searchlights below its eyes, this predator hunts with needle-like teeth. Its stomach can expand to hold prey larger than itself. Same. Um, I mean, the aberration to me looks like quite skeletal. It doesn't look like anything to do with lights. So I'm hopeful that... I don't know why it's called stoplight, but I'm hopeful that's not relevant. We'll see if we see any more along the way. I, I, I don't know why I didn't just come check the ocean. I, I just had... All the other three were roughly in the center. Um, but we'd seen those redfish before out in the ocean, and I just never thought to grab them. Big dumb dummy face. Uh, banish. Okay, game. Okay, don't need the little deedly 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 noise. Nothing good ever happened with a deedly 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 noise. Oh, hello again. What do you need? <laughs> I have specimens for you. You're not having my trophy, though. Got nothing coming, Missy. I have good news and bad news. Which do you want to hear first? Bad news. Good news is like dessert. The bad news is that the samples you retrieved from the basin have dates. See, the basin! She says the basin! The quest is worded as though they're in the All of the quest is worded as though they're in the basin. I know, like, I should have explored wider, but I think it is poorly worded in the game. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Good news is I've honed in on what's causing the abnormalities in the ecosystem. This all points to one thing. That thing in the basin is harmful to life at a cellular level. It damages everything around it. With a passively or with intent. I need to write up a report of my findings. Sorry, our findings immediately. Maybe now they'll take me seriously. Oh, how rude of me. You've done all of this for me and I've not got much to say thank you with. You should have this. A plan for the future. It's a book. She handed it to me sheepishly. This is something I wrote during my studies. I think it'll be useful to you. Thanks again for your help. Recommend you avoid the area. It doesn't seem safe to near the basin. I did all that extra work for a freaking book. I wonder if she'll take the dog. Oh, hello again. What do you need? I don't see a way to get with the dog. Who takes the bloody dog? Wait, is it my storage? Yeah, take it out of storage. Eh? Eh? Oh, dog needs a home. Do you want it? A dog? Oh, gosh. Let me see. The dog bounds over to the researcher. She crouches down to pet the dog, grinning. The dog licks her chin in response. 
I could definitely take this one off your hands, and I'd love the company. Yeah, go on. Yes, thank you. Oh, we're going to be such good friends. He can be my assistant. Aww. Suddenly, the dog stands upright and begins to retch. It's stomach heaving. Seconds later, it vomits a wet glob onto the floor. Something glistens through the mucus. Oh, well, that's interesting. I suppose that's yours if you want it. Sapphire ring. I can clean the rest up. Don't worry about it. All right. I'm glad. Well, we're only five minutes into the video, but we've got this area done. You know, we can now we can move on. We need to go get our crab pots. And uh, empty the inventory a little bit, but then we can move on with our lives and head up to the Twisted Strand. So we'll go hit these islands along the way. Again, I want to make sure I've gone to every island, just in case. Just in case. We always find little things. We've not been getting many books lately. We've not been getting many... Oh, Parhelion Jellyfish. That's cool. Two spies of light shine from within its hood. Stinging spiked tentacles trail below. <laughs> oh, wait. Did I click the book? It. I feel there's been a lack of books and a lack of uh, research parts in my life lately, so we need to get... It's because we've been in the same area and really hammering the same area for a long time. We need to get back out there and exploring and checking out some of the other islands, so that is the plan. I wonder if this is the mine... Twisted Strand. That looks mangrovey to me, and then this is probably volcanic, if I had to guess. But we shall see. Choo choo! Nice. I don't know if they stay fresh. I love how this game does the lighting. Look at that. Just, you just see the shimmering lights in the water. Oh. 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 Something out there. You know, you just see the lights at the bay. It looks fantastic. We also, of course, we need resources. We need cotton and metal, I think it was. Uh, buy my fishy wishies. Two, three, five. We need to stick that into storage. I assume we can just sell that. It's fine. Let's go grab our crabs. Trapped by those walls. I think I got a crab-based achievement. Always my favorite kinds of achievements, really, in any video game. Dark Souls, crab achievements, best achievements. I think of other games that would be mildly amusing to have crab achievements. <laughs> Actually, Dark Souls is probably one of the more likely ones to have crab achievements, so. There you are, you cheeky little blighter. Whoa, spiny lobster. I've got no room. I'll be back. I'll be back. That's cool. That's our. F you know what? That is going to be our final crab pot for this area, at least for now. Um. We put that one deeper, I very specifically said, remember last video, we're going to put this one a little deeper, see if anything changes. And apparently that was a good idea. Let's go grab the last one, then we'll stick these in storage until we get to the new area. Yeah, crappy, 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 crappy. Should really turn the lights on. <laughs> Very cool, though. Very cool. I just, I, I, I quite like it at night. It's got that ominous, slinking through the fog kind of vibe to it, and that's very sexy. Now, I think we're going to change our rod. As much as I adore. Mm, I say that. I guess there's not much point. I was going to say, well, we get to a new area, we're going to want to try it. Yeah, no, wait, no. Wait, let me think. We probably, if we're going to a mangrove area, we don't have to rod for it anyway, so why not just stick with what we've got? We can always change it when we get there. Uh, shipyard. Not shipyard. Oh, oh, oh yeah, shipyard. How much is this going to cost me? How much, what did I just say? Hundred and bloody seven? Hundred and bloody seven? Alright, into storage with all of you. Let's wait out the night. I'll do. And let's, uh, let's get going, basically. I would like the ability to place my own map markers. That would be nice. Yeah, I just want a little little dinky on the screen that says, I'm going to go here. But it's like a freeform... Ex oh, what's, what's going on here? Oh, of course. Spiny lobster. When threatened, these delicious creatures can rub their long antennae against their body, producing a loud screeching sound. Same spiny lobster. Same. I mean, I, if I could, I would. 
<laughs> if someone's annoying you, you just start. Oh, hello. What's going on here? Waves lap at a pile of flotsam collecting on the beach, nestled in the center of a wooden chest. Yo! Okay, how did I miss this until, like, right now? That that map thing is way bigger than I thought it was. That's just lumber. Lumber's, like, the only material I don't need, rather annoyingly. Not that it isn't going to be valuable down the line, but it's more just that I'm trying to... I want to preserve my inventory as I move along. Well, I'm glad we found that. <laughs> There's still a few things we haven't done. Like, we've not done the little fishy things, you know, the... um. Oh, cool. That uh, second stone we found that wanted certain fish. I, d I don't know what it needed. We need to go talk to Hood Guy. I, I swear we heard that those quests were timed, but we've had that quest to find a tiger mackerel for about 700 odd days at this point. <laughs> like, for half my life in this game, I've had a quest for a tiger mackerel. And I've yet to, to find one. Are you a tiger mackerel? You could be a tiger mackerel. I, th I feel like... No, oh, of course, yeah. I feel like if you've seen the fish before, it should fill in the picture. You know, there should be a way to tell if it's a new fish or not when you go to to, to fish. But maybe I'm just being picky. It's very early in the morning. Fancy boot. It's very kind. Okay. Well, island number one gave me a boot. Nothing else. Let's go check island number two. This has got to be the mangrove, right? Just based on the shape of it, you know, the little inlets and channels. What the hell was that? Oh, it's a whale! Oh, I want to go have a look. Come here. Is it a whale? Oh, it's gone. It could have been an orca. It didn't sound like an orca. Obviously, that make it a dolphin. Technically, dolphins are whales, so I'm not going to get into that regardless. <laughs> but, um, what are you? Probably coastal, right? Yeah. Grumble, grumble, grumble. God, moving in this game takes bloody ages. It really does. I know I did a little dredging, but still. Bloop. Bloop, bloop. Oh, <laughs> I just wanted to be cocky. <laughs> I just wanted to be cocky. <laughs> Someone like me as well, obviously. Cough, cough. A sextant. Sexy, sexy, sexton. Whoa. Whoa, what the heck? What? What? Okay. <laughs> um... <laughs> Uh, oh god, there's only one. Right, let's let's just let's, 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 it's time to it's time to. I don't know what it's like. I'm thrown for a loop a little bit by that. I'm not gonna lie. There's a giant. Like I know the game has weird creatures, but they always seem to be like a nighttime thing, and they don't know. They're always a little more subtle than that. That's just a giant crab using a what's that, shallow. Grey mullet. See, this is what I mean. I, like, I, I need to use the net here a little bit anyway, because inevitably the species in this area that I'm only going to get with the net, so. Uh, that, that was very unexpected. Using a, a wrecked ship as its, like, shell. Oh, that is a creepy old area over there. Okay. Travelling merchant is all you need, though. She's got everything you need. She's a good egg. Tell me about Triss's stand. Right, not much to be honest. I've gone inside just the once. I sailed into the lagoon behind us. Go left, right, straight ahead. So we got the place seemed off. Through the fog, it looked like the trees were moving. Can't explain it. I turned around and sailed right back out. I sometimes use this spot to rest up for a few days. The sunrises are particularly striking through the haze. Never do any regular business here, of course. Uh, right. Well, we've got a new fish. The green mullet. I used to have a mullet. <laughs> oh, no, not not on purpose in my defense I, I I personally I no longer go to a barber right I will not go to like a typical barber anymore because um oh, we should take the crabs actually because um when I was a child 
my mum took me to a barber. And we're talking like a, you know, a five pound cheapo barber. And um, he gave me a mullet. <laughs> and I've never forgiven barbers ever since. Hmm. Dum, dum. Sorry, just into... My inventory's getting a little bit cramped for my liking. A plain fish, often found in sandy or muddy areas, one of a few species that can survive in brackish water. So what we're going to do, we're going to swim around a little bit using our net and hope we find some stuff. Oh, look at this. What a beaut. Let's go explore. There's no, there's no other resting spots. How do I get like a quest around here? All right, let's uh, let's do our crab pots. Oh, nine meters. This is pretty deep. Right, what do you want? Yeah, mangrove. Whoa, 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 Nelly. Whoa, girl. What is that? What is this? Game's going bonkers. There's a sign there. Okay. Ah, oh god, this place is going to be rough. What? Oh, I found the dock, though. This is crazy. A large man is watching you through the billowing smoke of a campfire, idly carving away at a wooden stake. He stands as you pull ashore. A stranger, from that look on your face, I say you've encountered the local wretches. Take a seat. He's missing an arm. He looks like he's out of Warhammer 40k or something. Join him by the fire. I've been trying to rid them from this accursed jungle ever since we were wrecked here. The boys call them mind suckers. On account of them, well, sucking the mind. <laughs> they make us see things, do things like suck minds. I'd ask you for safe passage away from here, but not until I've avenged my squadron. A number of us went down in the fog, crashing into trees or ditching into the water. Those that survived rallied here under the bows of this great tree. Bows? Bows. But it offered us scant protection. Before help could arrive, our numbers quickly dwindled. Picked off by the friends in the forest, and the muck and the mire. I've met a few would-be rescuers over the year, but none would have helped me in my fight. Are you any different to the rest? I can help. I figured you'd be up for it. You, you have the luck. Listen up. First, we need to find the lost pieces of my squadron's mortar. We'll then use that to bombard the beasts. Okay. Other planes went down to the north and east of where we are now. I'll mark the possible crash sites on your map. You go and see what you can salvage. How will you honor your squad, mates? I think a few of the dog tags up on the tree behind me. It seemed fitting enough. <laughs> I've only got tags from the ones I... You must understand, I never found all their bodies. If you happen to find any of their dog tags, I could add them to the tree with the brothers. I have a number of mechanical doodads that you might find useful. Here, take this one. Oh, sweet. We get a research part for every dog tag. Uh, are there any shipwrecks? Shipwrecks? No. Anything that meets its end here is quickly swallowed by the silt. Tell me about the mind suckers. Devilish creatures, through and through. They'll stalk you along the waterways and emerge suddenly, screeching that terrible song. The first time it happened to me, I saw... Shadows of my squad mates reaching out to me in a feverish dream. When I finally snapped out of it, I was covered in bloody scratches. They must have sent me running through the foliage. Since then, I've done my best to avoid the fiends. I can't. I throw. The senses seem to be based on movement. Ah, okay. Handy to know. But like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. I need to. Right. First of all, storage. Second. Oh, actually, research. I said, well, I don't have an. Do I have an abyssal rod? Do have an abyssal uh, mangrove rod even, so we're gonna have to equip that. I mean that one is pretty sweet. Coastal shallow mangrove and volcanic. Abyssal hadal, coastal shallow mangrove volcanic. Oh, wait, wouldn't this cover if you had both of these? Would this not cover everything? I think so. So let's start working on that. I'm gonna rest a little bit because I am incredibly paranoid right now. Okay. Oh, easy does it, girl. Easy does it, girl. Okay. I'm not sure about these crab pot placements, but it is what it is. I'll come check on you lads and lasses later. 
Easy does it. Easy does it. I just want to see something cool, you know? I like cool things. Broken monocle. Okay, so the first one we want to go get. I kind of want to go back and... No, I'll tell you what, let's go back to the trader first. Let's go grab ourselves the mangrove rod. I don't think the net's very useful here anyway. And I've seen it. none of the none of the things I have are very useful here. We clearly need the uh, the mangrove rods. Let's just go do that. Dum da dum dum. I don't think I own the rod. Da 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 da. Why I want to do it? I kind of want to organize these by. Oh wait, no. I'm being stupid. I'm being stupid. I don't own these. <laughs> um, let me check my storage. I don't think I've got many storage though. That, I don't think I'm ever going to want. I am tempted to... I've just got to keep in mind, like... I feel like my storage is not that humongous. You know what I mean? So that's the one we want. And I guess we'll replace the... I mean, I guess we'll replace the Abyssal. There we go. Wait, no, what? I thought I just installed it. Did I misclick? I've misclicked somewhere. Did I buy bottomless lines again? Is that what I've done? God damn it. <laughs> Sometimes, my brain, I swear to God. Anti tangle, that's the one we needed. And then we can sell this one because we've got another. Because I've bought another one. Oh, we could actually throw on coastal as well. Oh, that's already coastal. Can I get like a? I could, yeah, I could throw on a shallow. That's pretty sweet, actually. I could even throw that one on. Wait, no, I don't need that one. No, wait, wait, wait. I think I've got that. In, let me let me have a little look. Do we have that in storage? I'm finally, getting the hang of the bloody game. <laughs> no. No. So we do need to buy it. I never bought that one. Um. So I want. So I've got mangrove coastal. That's only coastal, so I really don't think the net is going to do much at all, but whatever. I mean, that's pretty sweet. It shows you all four. So I'm only missing abyssal, hadal, volcanic. Okay, I'm missing loads, but still. Mangrove, coastal, shallow. I could even grab oceanic and throw that on there as well if I wanted to pretty easily, but we're good for now. Uh, let's wait till daytime. I know there's probably like nighttime fish that we want to catch here, but I feel like just maybe when we first get here, maybe, maybe, maybe not, you know? Oh, so I probably want banish, actually, if nothing else. Uh, right, so let's go and have a little peek. Get some new fish. So I think this is already... We're going to keep doing this, and hopefully we can catch like the rare version of the mullet. But, um, and hopefully there's something else here, but... What have we got? Oh, trophy. Not a trophy for some reason? That was weird. Sergeant fish. Oh, there we go. Game seems to <laughs> struggle to catch up with me there. Now let's calm down with the sergeant fish. Oh, I need to wait. Ah, I'm a dummy. I hate this one. <laughs> this one makes me anxious. There we go. Entwined mullet. It, it sounds exactly like my mullet. Honestly, it took me so long to like figure out how I should have my hair. It sounds like a not a big deal, but it, in my life it... Oh, hello. It's like a gar or something. It is a gar. You know, occasionally I'm quite proud of my ability to recognize fish. <laughs> um, am I going to be able to fit? It's a four. Is there any way to make that happen? That's kind of awkward, isn't it? Uh... Uh, I, f 
feel like there must be a way, but I can't see it at this point in time. You know what? That's that's fine. That's fine. Let's let's just head back and clear. This is always how it's going to start. You know, where you have to kind of um. Let me have a little peek just in case. For funsies. Oh, giant mud crab. Okay, we actually need to clear that out pretty quickly because uh, that's chocolate block already. How are we doing over here? Giant mud crab, highly cannibalistic. These crabs have been known to devour their soft shelled brothers after molting. Sergeant fish, sometimes called the snook. This drab fish feeds on anything smaller than itself, including juveniles of its own species. And an exceptionally long and slender fish, strong scales stretch down the length of its body. Interesting, both of these can get me via trawling. Now, not with this trawling, that. Hmm. I think trawling is either oceanic or coastal. I don't think it's ever anything more than that. Mm. Logically, actually. Like, this is clearly a coastal area, right? Where we are now. It's mangrove, but it's also coastal. And some fish might be just coastal. But, um... I think you can, uh... Yeah, I, I know what I mean. Oh, come on. Ah! <laughs> I, I bloody thought it was. I could hear that noise getting bigger and bigger. Bloody thing. What are you again? What are you? Top on. Well, I only came down here to check my bloody, um... There's too much new stuff. It's very disconcerting. Let's grab some tarp on. And then, and then we'll finally go do what we're trying to do. I want to go check the crabs, but... I, I'm, I'm out of inventory space yet again. At least there's no rocks. Like, in the middle, anywhere. You know, It's a pretty safe area to navigate, seemingly. Dum, da, dum. I'm gonna stick to night time for a little bit. I just wanna see if I get any of the others. It's always just muller at the moment, but. I'm just trying to find like a nighttime fish. Ah! I think when it's, when it's logged onto you, you can't uh, hang around. <laughs> oh, hello. What have we got here? Oh, it's like a... It's an eel of some form. A long fin eel. I've decided they can't attack me when um, I'm fishing. I don't know if it's true, but I've decided that's the case. This is going to be a... Uh... Oof. This place racks up your... Oh, hello, I got a horseshoe. That's very cool. Um, these eels are super awkward. Super, super awkward. Okay, that's two more species. We're just racking up the new species. Oh, oh, hello. Crap. Ah, okay. Um, don't think she'll be selling explosives, but we'll go check on the way back. Well, when we get back. Oh my god. Ah! My crabs! Ah! Oh, not the time you want to lose access to your engine, I'll tell you that much. Be banished, scum! I had to use it eventually. <laughs> How long does it last? I feel like it's maybe increasing my paranoia. It's pretty cool, though. It lasts for a while. All right, good to know, good to know, you know, a little bit of science. Oh, 428, good, when you're gonna, <laughs> we're about to need the money, so. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot, let's get that away as well. Okay, let's, uh... right, right, okay. Quick little check in the cabin. Encyclopedia. Got my horseshoe. Looks freakish and unnatural, but this ancient relic of the past sells well. What else did we get? Longfin. 
A long eel with delicate fins spends the day coiled around the roots of the mangrove trees and merges at night to hunt. Cool. Merges at night to hunt and be a pain in their booty. Right. Right, no more. Right, I'll catch, but only if it's a new fish. Back to, uh... Back to, um... Back to business. Let's try to get to one of these bloody pieces. It didn't work! I thought they chased movement! Ah! Followed me anyway! Seek a little blighter. Right, I think one of them... Oh god, it is still follow- Ah! Leave me alone! Okay, it's increasing my paranoia. Even though it's the middle of the day. Go away! Numpty. Okay, this is looking good. Right, annoyingly, someone's at the door. One second. Same people over and over again. They are desperate to pave our driveway. And yes, our driveway is horrendously ugly, but you don't need to keep bloody telling me. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. I'm distracted hearing all the spooky bloody noises behind me. Mortar barrel, very cool. I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of hoping it was cotton. It looked like cotton. <laughs> I was like, yeah, we need the important things, but I also need cotton. You know, let's get our priorities in order here. Grab some metal, it's been a while. Okay, uh, next up, hmm. I think I do need explosives to get at least one of these. Let's see if we can get to that northwest one. I think it's the middle one is trapped behind the explosives. Bloody Nora. Yeah, don't half make you put the work in to navigate this area. I wonder if I can drive into the mushrooms. I suspect it's a terrible idea. Oh, that's blocked. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna need some explosives. Hmm, this is an interesting little uh, dead end. Is that wood? Yeah. If I'm fishing, they can't attack me. <laughs> I don't really have any reason to believe that's the case, but um, I'm going to be steadfast in my beliefs anyway, with no evidence to support them. That's my right as an American, goddammit. I'm not American, but I'm here nor there. Just to clarify, in case people get confused. Didn't mean to do that. Do da, do da. What are you? Oh, it's the um, more like yeah. This place is really kind of spooky. I need my lights on more because. No, 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 not that, not, not the foghorn. What a terrible choice of things to click on. Oh, they, oh, they like the, um, they like the jellyfish. It's right there. Swim. Ah. Ah. Oh no, wait, what? Ah. Ah. What's going on here? This place is a hellhole. What? How is it dead ends everywhere? Oh, the game's messing with my mind. Oh, God. Nearly there, nearly there, nearly there. Bloody hell. Not a fan of that whatsoever. <laughs> All right, let's fix up. Let's sell up. Let's get some bloody sleep. Jeez, Louise. Uh, floating dock. 
So, yeah, two pieces of um, cotton or whatever it is for that one. One, So, only three pieces of cotton. Let's just take that in that for now. Got the volcanic one ready for the next area. Good to go. But, of course, that would be really good. And then we can... We can I don't have to keep doing things. Doing things is the absolute worst, so... <laughs> I think that's the one we'd probably keep permanently, and then the others. Oh, I need explosives, I suppose it And then the other we would swap out as need be if we need to troll or we need abyssal stuff like that. But we'll see. Maybe we'll get enough slots that we can do it all. We can have it all. The Empire of Dirt. Hmm, I think I need more than one, but it'll do for now. I did see the area I was meant to be going, I believe. Get those on the way back. Leave me alone! It's a spooky old thing, this, I tell you. A spooky old thing. Right, can I go right down here? Oh, hello. Don't mind if I doozle. It's the um, top one. Come on, where's my special top on? Oh, no. Disaster. Oh, blistered top on. Delicious. Who doesn't mind a little aberration in their, in their fish? I like a little feather in my nuggets, <laughs> as they say. Pop culture reference there for you folks. It's very unlike me, I know. Oh, bloody hell. But you can dive. Oh, I didn't need the... Huh. I thought I needed explosives again. It must just be a shortcut. I haven't found any of these dog tags, though. Oh, that was a bit unnecessary. <laughs> right, there's the water frame. So I think that's it now. Ooh. Uh, yeah, we can fit a little bit of metal in. The metal! I can always fit a little bit of metal in, eh? Mm, if I move some stuff around. But then we're gonna go get some cotton. We're gonna go on a cotton hunt, because this is silly now. It's all I need. Oh, I can get more metal. Uh, is there any world where that's gonna happen? I think so. If I just keep clicking things, something good will happen to me. Um, we want that one there. Do I have a two anywhere? Yep, so. I'm so close. I <laughs> can't do it. I don't see... Uh... Yes! There we go. <laughs> I just had to... I don't even know that I've seen the, even the Texas theme tune. Texas. Tetris. But you know what? It bloody worked. Why did I want the explosives? I don't even know anymore. So what are you? Oh, it's like a catfish. Okay. I mean, it might be a catfish. <laughs> Maybe we'll never find out at this rate. Not sure how this is going to ever fit in, but whatever. Sorry, catfish. I mean, I've got it in my encyclopedia now. That's kind of the main thing, right? We know it exists. I, I cannot for the life of me remember where I needed that explosive. We'll stumble upon it again, I'm sure. Love a catfish. People eat catfish, don't they? I've never eaten catfish. Not really a thing over here. Nah. Nah. Well, you know what? I found out where we're going to use the explosives. I think this is where it was. It is just kind of a shortcut. Pachow! 
And that should take me down to the guy down here. Yeah, that's pretty helpful, actually. Would have been more helpful a second ago, but that's never here nor there. Ah, right. Safety. Relative safety. Get some sleep in first, and then... Airman! Savior of the world. Found parts of the mortar. You found one component, still missing a piece. Oh, wait. Is it in my inventory? Ah, bah, bah. I wonder where the dog tags are. Huh? Where is it? Oh, it's that. Um, oh, no. <laughs> um... <laughs> No, no, we're okay, we're okay, okay. Uh, man. That's the lot. Now, while I work on assembling the mortar, you can get started on the next phase of the plan. You may have noticed some contraptions in the lagoons around here. I've assembled those traps for the mind suckers, so we just need to lure them in there. Once they're in, you see, I can fire on them with a new mortar, and that'll be the end of them. No more nightmares. I'll mark them look. Okay, let's do it. How do I do it? They're attracted to some very specific types of bait. Your skills will come in handy here yet again. Have you got everything? I don't know, you haven't told me what to get. <laughs> Is it safe? Of course not! <laughs> Have you got it? <laughs> With patience, the creatures only seem to sense movement, so whenever one was close, I froze. Have you got everything? We need to make three special baits from three different combinations of fish. Okay. So we need a question mark fish, which is my favorite fish, and we need a... Have I not seen... Is it... mm. Okay. Catfish. Of course, none of it's going to be the bloody top one, is it? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Why is it question marking me? God damn it. <laughs> Alright, see you later. Okay. Um, I'm hopeful <laughs> it's going to say it in my... Oh, wait, we've got stuff here. Oh, yeah, we got our thing as well. 15% chance to not reduce stock. Okay, that's not super exciting. Cyclopedia, that's our catfish. Only night time. Oh, what did it say? Equipped with sensing barbels, this large scavenger can detect morsels hidden in the mud. Ah, oh, see, this is why I need a notepad. Oh, I've got several messages. Okay, we'll do that later. Um, let me just... There's my phone. I'm going to write down what these are. Or at least my best guess. So... The last trap is the two eels. Which I've seen, right? Is that what they look like? I don't remember. I'm getting stupid emails. Uh, right, let me just open my notes. Notes. What is this? Oh, I sometimes like when I'm <laughs> gully on the way with burrow? Question mark. Um, when I get ideas at like three a.m., I'll grab my phone randomly and just like jot a note down. So they often make no sense to me the next morning. So three is two eels. Two is catfish. Let me write two first. Two catfish and little two fish because it takes two slots. I can't remember what it is. I think it is one that we've seen though. Wait, wait, isn't it? Wait, 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 wait. Is it not? Eh? Nice. Okay, so two is just catfish. And one. Need a mo I'm not giving them my special. I mean, can I even? I mean, I may as well, actually. Does that even count? Yeah, alright. One is a gar. So we need a gar, a catfish, and two eels. Alright, that's not so bad. See you later, buddy. Now, I need to go clear my inventory out, obviously. Then we'll uh, go catch in. We've seen all three fish that we're trying to get. I mean, there were eels in there just a second ago. They've gone now. It must be night time. But uh, I think we're we're pretty 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 handy, pretty well prepped to handle this. What have you got for me? Mm. May as well grab a couple of them on the way out. Leave me alone. <laughs> See you, aberrant over there. 
and I want you. Uh, floating dock. Right. You were uh, cloth, cloth, metal. Well, we can actually do this one. It wouldn't be high on my priority list, but why not? Okay. I do want another light as well. It's probably, no, it's only one cargo space. You really can't get many lights. It's just two more slots in total. My boat could be so much better if I just put a little work into this. We'll have to spend some time doing that soon. Uh, nothing for storage, just or actually, nope. Let's sell. Mm. All right. So, 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 so. Cyclopedia. Catfish, nighttime only. I right, what do you want? Gar, daytime only. And then eel, nighttime only. Rod. Rod or troll. All right, so let's go try to find a gar, or a cat, well, whichever one it is. There's one of them I can find now. There we go, it's the gar. Gar. Yarp. Come on, where's my special one? Where's my special one? Oh. Was it Clawfin Gar? That's an ah, oh, that's a really interesting trophy one because you have to be unlike the other trophy ones where a little patience isn't necessary at the start. With that trophy one, you have to be as quick as humanly possible because um, you need to um, get to the yellow bit. I suppose you need to get to the one where the yellow will activate before it fades away, you know? I put you a fish. For bait number two? Let's, let's say two. Eh? Ah. Let's say one. I didn't really want to do this right now. I don't want to carry it around with me, but whatever. It'll be good. If we can get rid of these things, then, you know, it'll be a much nice. We should focus on that right away because that is obviously going to make the whole area a lot nicer to explore, so. Definitely the logical thing to do. Can I pick you up now? Oh, let's grab a little bit more, though. The crabbing isn't really my thing, must be said. I think I've made that point quite clear throughout this play. Ooh. I just wanted to make sure that worked. You know? 100%. Oh, so what fish is that? Yeah. And now we know. Horseshoes absolutely bloody everywhere. Right. Let's sell up one more time and then let's go catch ourselves some nighttime fishy wishies. Mm. Oh, shut up about the crap pots. <laughs> I know. I know what I'm doing. I just don't want to bother. <laughs> don't you understand? It's not a lack of knowledge. It's laziness. Mm. At least I got a lot of money. I don't, th I don't think money's ever going to be a problem again, really. Which suggests that I should stop catching multiple fish. Well, it doesn't, it doesn't, because you need multiple fish. Because um, that's how you get the aberrations, right? Oh, let me just throw down this crab pot. So at least until you get all the aberrations. I should, ah, I didn't know if it would see me from so far away. Swim! Swim, Chucky, swim! Oh, Chucky is, but Chucky is involved. There's a rock there. Whoa! Oh, that was a little close. Gotta touch it. It's cold. Yeah, we've all been there. 
Okay, here we go. It's time. Let's see what we can find. That's the catfish. Very cool. Oh, Nightwing catfish. What a beaut. That looks awesome. Right, I don't want to catch any more. I need to make I need two eels, so I'm not gonna fit. Oh, on no, the right there. Stop giving me these ones, because I have to sell them. <laughs> I don't have a choice. I think I'm literally Oh, this is such an annoying combination of things. Right, there we go. Okay, well, I can't fit another eel in, can I? Um, no, I don't see. I don't see a way that's gonna happen. All right, well, you know what? We've done it. That's what matters. I mean, again, collecting the aberrations is the important part. I want to fill in my encyclopedia. Because we've got so much money, selling them is not that important. I'm sure it will be later on. Don't get me wrong. We'll probably need more cash at some point, but. The point is, I don't mind using the aberrations for this purpose. There's more eels there if need be as well. Actually, because there's more eels there, let's just um. It'd be nice to keep. It'd be nice to sell one. <laughs> so, how are things going? They're going well, my friend. They're going very well. I'll give you. Oh, I only need one. Okay, 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 okay. The last one. I'm just gonna. I'll be back in a sec. I'll be back in a sec. I mean, they're right there. You know, it would be inefficient of me to not go grab these eels. God knows I'm not going to do that. Should be able to fit another one in there as well. For funsies. There we go. Eels for days, folks. They call me Eel Boy in the clubs. Yo, Eel Boy. You brought any eels, and then I just chuck the eels around the dance floor, and people go crazy for it. People love it. It's a very strange thing. Make sure you bring back proof the thing's really dead. Nope. Okay, right, we're gonna just rest till dawn. We're going to go sell quickly. I just want to clear my inventory a little bit. And then, actually, we'll take the crabs with us as well if we can. Definitely cannot. Let's go do a little sell rooney and then we'll uh, we'll be good to go. There we go. Oh, no, it did. Oh, God damn it. I'm, just, I'm so used to right-click just being the lights, you know, because it, it so often has been for me. crabbing if I'm honest <laughs> there doesn't seem to be anything else here like I think with the crabbing once we've got what we need I can I'm quite happy to mm. just kind of um, stop doing it and again I'm just filling my storage which is quite negative right now uh do fish market mm. right let's give this a good old college try would have liked to have the banish ability right now, but that's neither here nor there. That's a lot of horseshoe crabs. Jeez Louise. Should probably move away. Go, go, go. Ah, no. Mmm, yummers. How far back do I have to go? Oh, damn. Oh, I'd have to be that far away. Okay, good to know. <laughs> Inside is the obliterated cup. Oh wow, this takes up a huge amount of room. Inside is the obliterated corpse of a mind sucker. All right. The rest of the carcass sinks out of sight. Sweet, yes, that's what you guess, sonny boy. It's my house. My house. Right. Okay. Obviously, I need to clear some things up. Need to fix because I bumped my ship a little bit on the mine sucker. As you do. I'm 
assume I can't sell that, right? Yeah, cool. And the storage is getting an issue because I'm going to be adding, if you think about it as well, loads of um, thingies to this. Uh, you know, thingies. I know what I mean. Rods. Again, we can probably get rid of some of the old ones, though. And at some point, we won't need materials anymore, right? Because we'll, we'll have them all, essentially. Cyclopedia, clawfin gar. Crooked talons hang from its fins. Periodically, they shudder and come together, grasping like a hand. And the twinned eels. Oh, there is two of them. I didn't even see that. The double head. Endlessly pulling away, but torn apart, they would surely perish. Two spiteful siblings splitting at the seams. Very cool. It's like me and my sister. Right. Yeah, that's what you get, sonny boy. And boy. Boy. Anyways. We're gonna go this way. We're gonna go this way. Big fan of the mangrove. I've got to say that we've, we've worked through the mangrove a lot quicker than some of the others. Assuming this is the end. My only friend, the end. This place does have three stop points, though, so it's probably a bit larger. I'm going to stay a lot closer this time. I, want, I need a good thumbnail, so... <laughs> doesn't seem... The explosion doesn't... I'm going to... Okay, back a little bit. Let's stay about that. Nice! Okay, good. I just wanted to make sure I could fit the next one in. Okay, we just need to head up to the northern section, and we are rolling. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that the net has like a coastal and an oceanic, and then it doesn't matter what type of it, because there's no volcanic net, and there's no mangrove net, but clearly my net is working in this area, so. It's to a large extent, it just makes sense to kind of, oh, no. Wait, no, that, what is that? I think that's just refined metal, which is cool, but actually not what I need right now, so. Um, the trap's in there. How do I get in there? <laughs> and then cotton. Priority next. I don't know if it's even called cotton. It might be fabric or whatever it's called. Next video, priority. I'm not moving on to the next. Oh, no, don't. don't no, come on. Come on. There we go. Thank you. I think it's this way. There we go. Took a little bit of work, this one, but... Whoa, whoa! <laughs> Rose right underneath me. Makes me a little nervous. Like these are the the mind suckers, you know. Things of. Oh, don't take the mitt. Imagine if I couldn't fit it in because of that one really terribly placed X. That would have been heartbreaking. Um, but like I said, each area's got its own mechanics, and each area steps things up in terms of how scary and aggressive the monsters are. And. Uh... Th these are obviously the most aggressive. These are the. F Mm, they're not the first ones to actively chase me, but they're all over the place, and they're very spooky. So it does make me a little nervous. What is going to lie in wait for us in the next one? I remember to grab this crab pot on the way back. I suspect we're nearly done here, you know. I suspect we are done as soon as I do this. See, it says you can troll for the others, but I'm only finding mullet via my trolling. I'm really not finding anything else at all. I don't like mullets. Airman, how are things going? I have a creature corpse to show you. Let's see it then. You hand the tattered lump of flesh to the airman. It's almost unrecognizable, but you both know it couldn't have belonged to anything else. He pokes at it with his knife, testing the rubbery meat. He seems satisfied. Yes, this is one of the beasts. Progress at last. More to go, though. Oh, you have more? He drops the flesh onto the ground and he gives it a few slashes with his knife. It wobbles a little. Another one taken care of. One remains by my count. 
now. It's a two. Good job, buddy. Let's finish this. Oh, you have more? <laughs> he dropped a large bloodied carcass in front of the airman, and his eyes fill with sadistic delight. He bends down and plunges his knife into the soft flesh. It falls away before the blade, revealing a glint of metal. With a sickening tear, he rests it from where it was embedded in the flesh of the creature. He holds it aloft. You recognize it as a necklace glistening in gore. Well, fisherman, some fortune at last. This ought to fetch a decent price from the right collector. Why don't you take it? He stands back from the corpse, a melancholic look comes over his face. And now, well, that's it, I suppose. What will you do now? I can't say for sure. I thought I'd be asking you for an escort away from this place, but this has become somewhat of a home to me. It doesn't feel right to leave my brothers here. I think I shall stay a while longer. In the meantime, I can make up some special bait for you in order to help with your fishing. Here, this was left over from the other bait. What's it do? All manner of new... Okay. Ah! Right now, we can make some fresh stuff if you like. I need some fish from you first. Anytime we'll do, the more you get, the more bait I can make. Okay, it's interesting. Huh. I want to give that a go. Where's my inventory limitation? Ooh. Okay, now that's right. Oh, come on. There we go. <laughs> like, that's obviously going to fit. Uh, let's just let's just go finish things off. This is much nicer now. I've got the necklace. Nothing's trying to murder me. Those are like two necklaces and things not murdering me is are oh, my two favorite things in the world. Okay, I spoke too soon. There's something creepy in the water. <laughs> Oh, he did have them. Um, fish. Forgot they're in the net, though. Dum, 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 dum. Okay, um, I'm just going to try the bait out. We've never done it before. Just going to let my curiosity flag fly. Is it a new ability is in here? Yeah, there it is. Okay. So I guess if you know... Oh, look, yeah. Right, now I have to be very patient here. Okay. I mean, that's pretty cool. I like that. You know, if you wanted... Uh, you know, you need a nighttime fish from the area. Rather than swimming around for it, just took out the bait, I guess. The problem is, of course, unless somebody else can make bait, how do I ever get back? Like, how do I come back here quickly? I don't, I don't see a way to get back here with any speed whatsoever. You know. Okay. Right. So what we need to do? Okay. Next video. Next video plan. First of all, I need to go and sell some of this. My inventory is getting chock a block. I want to go sell all this nonsense over here. I'm doing this. I'm doing this because I enjoy doing it. <laughs> That's really the only possible reason I'm doing this right now. Sell all that. And so, uh, I'm not. We'll, we'll put, that's, that's the things I'm getting rid of immediately. Uh, sort of section. Um, so I want to get rid of all that, but I don't want to leave quite yet. What I want to do is uh, I want to look for these dog tags. Now, we, we've not really explored, I would say, sort of the outside of this area. We also haven't explored that island over there. That bit over there. So next video, we'll do that for a little bit. We will um, explore the sort of outskirts of the mangroves and see if we can find some of these dog tags if they exist, because we get research parts for that, and obviously that's high value. I don't know how I haven't found a single one. I'm assuming they are in some of those dredge spots, basically. But we'll see what we can find. Uh, I you I saw you were there, yeah. Yeah, it's great. Go buy some more explosives as well. Okay. Anyways, we'll do all that in the next video. Thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you lovely folks very soon. Cheers much of as always. Bye-bye.